and then try to do it. So I got the Ampler, knee shield, right? So the thing that happens typically is that Amp, he wants an underhook. He's got a knee shield here, okay? For me to pass the knee shield, oftentimes it's almost like inevitably you give up an underhook, okay? So let's say you pass this knee here, but he's got his underhook here. I needed to jam it, okay? So he's got a shallow underhook. The worst thing for me to do is slide up so that he begins to now already expose my back and so forth. So the second you have an underhook, whether you're side control, whether you're a, a half guard, whichever way it may be, you jam it here. Now I can't pummel in. For me to pummel in, I have to do this, but he, obviously he's not gonna let me, okay? So we're here, all right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my left shoulder and I'm gonna push him in his armpit here, okay? So what I wanna do is it's almost like I wanna just keep pushing him just enough to where I'll feel pushback because he doesn't wanna go full, yeah, right there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pinch my right elbow and I'll do it from different angles. And I'm gonna windshield wiper kinda pummel my left hand in under here, here, here. And now you go here, okay? And you reestablish the underhook. It's a very effective way to expose an opening. So all you're doing is just basically you got the knee shook here, he's got an underhook, and I jam it here. You can even have your, your knee up here, so I'm pressuring him this way here, because when you're on two knees, it's not as good, and you, you can't apply as much pressure here. And from here, I'm gonna push my shoulder kinda in his armpit. He'll probably give me a little bit of pushback here, but I can still give pressure to flatten him out here. I don't want to flatten him out too much because what I want to do is I want to lift here and go right in here. So now I can begin to reset my underhook and if you can, cross your hands here. So you make an X at the wrist and then you're framing his face with your fist or his head and then you slide your shoulder under his jaw and then you pin it so that the back of his head and keeps everything close, and then from there we'll go into a pass, okay? So he's got an underhook here, let's say here. Jam that underhook, I'm giving him pressure. He's kind of trying to come up to the side. Whenever somebody's on the bottom in a half guard, on the side is good for them, it's bad for me. Flat is bad for them, good for me. So I'm gonna use my left shoulder to kind of keep flattening him, and I'm pinching here. So now as I lift up, my left hand pummels in, just right here, it's almost like an arm drag here. And then I'm able to pummel this one in here, okay? And then I'm gonna actually, right here. And you'll feel at the shoulder, it's almost like your left hand will go to the armpit and your right hand locks in here. And then here, I'm just gonna frame this head. It's not like I'm doing an Ezekiel or anything like that, or like a fist, just so that I can get my shoulder under his jaw and then pin his back of his head using my shoulder here, okay? So one more time. He's got an underhook here, I jam it here. He's trying to kind of come up or, and I give him a shoulder. It's almost like a shoulder jab here, from here. And then from here, I keep the elbow pinched because if you come up without the elbow pinched, you may not open up the armpit here. So as you're here, so basically like this. Here, 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 here. Now I have my shoulder kind of on his chin, but I want to slide back. I want to get under here, and preferably if you can, kind of frame it, because if you're just here and you give him pressure, he'll turn the head. If you're here and you give him a little bit of business here, it's almost like a kickstand for the head, and uh, it's nice because it's behind the ear, so if he keeps turning his head, he's going to get a natural cauliflower ear. Not like the Russian guys that like to take the water bottles and <laughs> caps and then create fake cauliflower ear because it looks tough when you're going to collect money from the guy that owes your boss money. Anyways, <laughs> let me set that one, two, three. That was a horrible uh, clap. <laughs>